you've probably seen, hopefully you'll have seen the unboxing of, or unwrapping, whatever it, you would call it, of the other case I got, the iPod Touch cases from Proporter. <clears throat> a few of you wanted me to review some cases. So I got in touch with some companies, asked them for some review, and I've ended up with three, which is great. Um, two of them from Proposer, that's a different video. The review will be coming soon. Got the third one here from Otterbox, O T T E R B O X dot com, I think it is. There's the logo on there. This is the case. It's well, it, it came in this box to start with. It was originally an unboxing, but again, Ustream decided to ruin it. So sick of that happening. So. Not much of an unboxing, really. I can put it back in the box, take it out. But it wasn't too exciting anyway. So here it is. It's the Armour series case for the iPod Touch second generation. You, by the look of the instructions that you get, you can get this for a variety of different, I, a variety of different iPods. Um, because in the instructions it's got pictures of an iPod Classic. So this is designed to protect your iPod. You can see there that that's not for style. That's not to use every day. It's really easy to get your iPod in and out, which I'm surprised at. But this offers so much protection, it's unbelievable. It's waterproof, dustproof, shockproof, bumpproof, everything proof. The only thing you can't do in it is go deep sea diving. Now it doesn't seem to actually close too well, unless I'm doing something wrong. I'll have to take a good look at this later because this isn't the review yet, that will come soon. But I have a feeling that will seal a bit more. It The actual screen of the iPod's covered by a protective material of some kind you can hear that there so that's going to protect the screen but you can still use it you need to apply a bit more force than you normally would but you can use it perfectly well you can still access the home button and on the bottom there they have a nice port for your headphones because the whole bottom of it's sealed and protected As, seriously that is tough that if you whatever you want to do in this, if you're the outdoor sporty kind of person, you might want to look into the armor case. This one from Otterbox. It holds the iPod upside down actually, and you can clip it onto your belt or whatever you've got. And it all, the clip can be taken off, and it comes with this cord if you want to tie it to something. So it's a very very tough protective case. So just my initial thoughts of it: you can't access the sleep button on the top of the iPod Touch which is probably the only problem I've found so far with it. Well, other than that, for a protective case this this looks really protective. Uh, now I, c I couldn't bring myself to actually test this out and drop this in a tub of water or throw this at a wall. But I'm 99% sure it would be perfectly fine. It wouldn't do any damage at all to the iPod Touch because this is a protective case. So big thank you to Otterbox and specifically Kelly, Kelly Richardson from Otterbox, one of the staff there. Again, it's really easy to get the iPod out. Simple as that. Open, unlock it, open it. Well, just open that bit. It opens that far. So you, you're not really going to get anything inside there. It's just it's, un it's unbelievably protective. You can see the protection over the screen there flick it and as hard as I can that, that's not going to break there you go this is otterbox.com go and check it out the armor case for the iPod Touch 2G probably some other iPods as well so if you want to see my full review of this subscribe I'll be doing a proper review of this in a later video with a review of the other two cases I've got so don't miss that um, so just subscribe to me on YouTube Jackie TV Jackie TV isn't just a collection of videos on YouTube we've also got a live stream live chat going 24 hours a day seven days a week you can find that and more at Jackie.com
Thanks for watching.